Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Rustic Waters 2 series. I am just placing these deployers down. I've gone ahead and crafted up four more deployers, as we can see, and two pumps to finish out this uh, setup. Still kind of learning the mechanics of placing these blocks. Like, the pointy thing goes towards us, but I think if I place it on that, it will connect it. Nope. <laughs> Shift? Nope. Alright. Shift seems to place it opposite you. Alright, but I guess we want it like that, right? Yeah. There we go. Alright. Uh, and if I click on that, it'll rotate the the thing around, yeah. And then if I click on a side that's not the gear, it switches it, the axis, by, yeah. And then you can rotate it around that axis. So, kind of learning how that works. All right, I think... Uh, That works, right? Yeah. There we go. All right. So I've got some gravel going and uh, producing that. I also got one over here that is producing materials for me. I think we will probably get uh, gravel and dirt maybe going in to these automatically. I don't. Uh, let me see. The sluice, I would like to upgrade them, although I don't know if it's, I mean, the processing time goes down a little bit, but the fluid is, uh, the fluid's automated, so that part, the fluid usage modifier doesn't really matter, although, is it? Like, does it go up with the diamond? <laughs> just noticing that but uh allows automation of items allows automation of items and food i wonder if this has like does this have an inventory hmm. maybe i should uh well i'm gonna process all that stuff and maybe we'll check those out uh but i think uh we I find this annoying. I keep seeing this, and I think I need to click that to clear that, but it's actually over here. Uh, did we clear? Yeah, we cleared this uh, quest chapter last episode. We opened up a a new thing. Uh, we, uh, I think we still got plenty of room in here, though, for the time being. I should throw my tree over there or something like that. Um, although we could automate these things the hydro i think it's a hydrostatic or something they're called hydrostatic botany pot um and that they basically act like a uh i mean this is easy the bitter lily bud is not the easiest thing um because i don't have Tons of, yeah, I don't have tons of coins. Do, I don't know. Is there, let's see. So one, I, I would need two of these. I mean, we do get 24, but uh, I don't know if there's any other way to get those other than coins. I, I don't know. Because uh, I wonder if that is just blocked. All right. So... Like, I wonder if I can't get that until I get more coins. Let's see. A balance the direction of the kingdom. Yeah, just the story. Um, let's see. Step will walk you through mechanical crafting and mixing the first steps to advancing your technology. This includes crafting your first generators and steel. All right. I am through that. Some quest rewards are given just to encourage experimentation and don't necessarily fit into builds. 
So mechanical mixer. Let's take a look. All right. I mean, that's relatively, relatively easy. Also, how cool is this? <laughs> I mean, come on now. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> Man, I feel like create makes me never want to go back to older versions of Minecraft. Just saying that right now. Uh, all right. So we got a mixer. There was some mixer recipes. I wonder if I can do it. Yeah, automated mixing. So there's our Lumium blend. I have no idea what Cinderflower does. Mythical clay. Crushed grass. Uh, we get a better ratio if we do that. Oh, look at this. It's heated and everything. Holy cow. Invar. Chocolate. Yeah. So as we can see, there is some pretty cool things. Even brewing. What is, what is that? <laughs> mysterious conversion. Ooh, mysterious. All right, so I guess I should just uh, jump in and see what we're going to do. So mechanical crafter. All right, so there's the crafting and the mixing. Um, I think we should maybe do, should we do the mixing one first? Because that lets us get easier brass um the most annoying parts are kind of the the rods at this point like a brass rod uses two ingots but there's really no other way to do it other than the metal press which we are definitely not at yet so, so all right let me just kind of get going here there is this is the mechanical crafting too it's kind of like bigger it's bigger kind of recipes isn't it yeah so this is like a four by four recipe man this is so cool all right let me get some crafting going and we'll uh we'll come back with a i think this stuff we'll start with all right gone ahead craft up mixer basin a shoot here and uh, kind of was looking at uh, where we're kind of going here. Uh, figured out the blaze spawner thing, but uh, let's go ahead and get this going first uh, because we need this mixer to progress. Now we have this, and uh, I don't. We're producing what, like eight thousand? I mean, that seems like a lot. I I don't know if it's. I considered it a lot, to be honest. But uh, yes, I hear you. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Now, uh, the basin, from what I gather from looking at this, uh, it can either output onto a belt. And uh, I also do, I need to look into. Uh, like placing things on belts and stuff like that. Also, how amazing is that? <laughs> how amazing was that little? It flew off the end. It just like I don't know. It just amazes me. Anyway, uh, we need to get some gears set up. Off <laughs> the, I love it. But uh, like I was kind of thinking, I'm like, how? I know we can do that, but like, how would I use the belts to? place into like these kind of thing is what I was thinking. Anyway, uh, we need to, uh, let's see, we need, I think that's like, that's like four tall, isn't it? So, uh, we'll do, I guess we'll do Uh, let me we need to get like if we did that and this along and then place that 
Nope, that's totally not how that works, is it? <laughs> of course not. Nope, that's not how that's gonna work. Uh, we'll just pretend I didn't do that. Uh, we need to get. It would be. It'd be like here, wouldn't it? No. Like it would be like. I know I could just craft a gear thing and do a vertical one would probably be the easiest, but you know I'm trying to figure out like these. I kind of want to place it like I don't know that. Can you place it like no? In my head, I know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Does it need to be like a big cogwheel? Hmm. Actually, let's look at this. Yeah, that's not really how I wanted to do it. Like, I want to place it... <laughs> this... Uh... Still trying to learn the mechanics of this. Like, I want to place it straight up and down, but have it, the edge, connected to that. Do I need, like, a... Maybe I need a big cogwheel for that. Uh, was it cogwheel? Did I... Need to craft a... I may need more. can't remember if I use all the tree... What are you doing over there, buddy? Also, I lost my dagger somehow. That bronze dagger that I had, I must have thrown it and managed to lose it. Where did that come from? Did it come up from, like, the water? There is absolutely... Unless, can it spawn up top? Oh, apparently you can spawn on top of that. Well, that's a bit annoying, and I can't place... Oh, I can place torches on top of those. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to this. So I need it. I got the... Yes. All right, there we go. So, one of those, one of that. Like, can I place this down here? No. Ah! What about wrenches? Does wrenches rotate? That is kind of what I was thinking I wanted to do, but obviously that is not working there. What happens if we do it? No, so that's not going to reach. Uh, all right, let's do that. I don't know how I feel about that going through the floor, but I know that would make it like a thousand times worse. Didn't. Hmm. All right, so still... <laughs> what is if we place this like there and then wrench it maybe? No, so that doesn't... No, I would need that over there, wouldn't I? All right, I need to, uh, I do need to figure out how these, uh, all these things. Yeah, like it doesn't want to go far enough. <laughs> Maybe I can't do what I think I can do, but I swear I've seen that in that ponder thing. Yeah, like, I know I can do that. Holy cow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I do know it speeds up. And slows down. That doesn't, uh... Actually, let's look at this. What is it? Man, I wish I could see... I wish I could spin it around. I don't see how it's... What they've done. To get that to spin.
How is that spinning? <laughs> this one in the back is spinning that. Hmm. All right, because we need to set up that. Okay, I think I was on the right track. Uh, I just didn't, for some reason, even consider that I needed two big ones. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so let's... I was like, where did that stuff go? I'm used to having magnets. All right, so if we do that, we could do that. And then that. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Where did it go? Up. That's kind of what I was trying to do. So they do work. They do work like that. Um, again, we could just do a gearbox. Would, would that even be... I don't remember what the gearbox. Eh, it's not super cheap, but uh, I don't know. We'll kind of just go with the flow here and see what we can come up with. All right, so we needed that the basin. Oh, that's going through that. Kind of don't love that. All right, so that would drop that into the chute. I don't think we can interact with that, no. Now this will put it in a a chest, and uh, I will probably rearrange this when I have got it working. Uh, do I not have? I thought I had extra chests. You know, I only need the one. I need to cut down more wood and also get that automated. But I just want to see if we can get this. This going. All right, and we can, yeah, we can access that. Sometimes you never know if this is going to act like a full block, but uh, we're good. All right, so that is that. Don't love that, but... Uh, I think this needs to go one up. It's also, I did not mean to just fall there. <laughs> yeah, go like that. And do you are you able to spawn on top? Doesn't look like you can. But uh, I guess this will this should work like this, right? And then, yeah, yeah, there we go. So we got it. Um, now we just need to place this stuff in. Um, I guess. Well, let's try. We need to craft up, <clears throat> and uh, I think Invar is what it is going to kind of want us to do uh we're not quite at steel yet um but it does look like blast furnace all right so the blast bricks this is what we need to get to get steel and we use, need to use the mixing to get that also um we need This stuff, Invar imbued cloth, is another thing we are working towards. But we need Invar blend, and to do that, we need this. Um, no, no heating required for this one. So basically, two nickel, one iron, isn't it? Isn't Invar usually two iron, one nickel? That is gonna break my brain because I am so used to. <laughs> Two iron, one nickel for the ratio in Greg Tech. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it does say to do this in order. Somewhere in here. Uh, it's best to insert the ingredients into the mixer in the order shown in JEI. So, is this like a, a drop? Does it act like a hopper kind of thing? Did that go in there? I don't know. Yeah. 
No? Well, those two nickels went somewhere. Where did they go? I have no idea. Did they end up... No. Oh, they probably went down here. Yep, there we go. Okay, why... <laughs> Why don't why don't those want to go in? But uh. this is a bit awkward. <laughs> okay, I was uh, I was doing it correctly, ish, but uh, yeah, we ran into a bit of a problem and. Uh, I'm going to try this instead, a gearbox. I think that would just be easier. Um, one of the, well, the problem is that, uh, one, it's probably easier just to stand on the chute and throw them in. I got the stuff in there, but if we hover over this, it does not appear this mechanical mixer is uh, rotating with enough speed. So this little setup that we did is not gonna work, um, which is fine. I kind of, I just really wanted to test how the, the gears kind of worked there. So, like I said, it is a learning experience. So there we go, that will come in there. Now, this is probably not spinning fast enough at all, would be my guess. We're gonna have to speed this up. And uh, we can do that with the big gear and the small gear thing, can't we? It doubles the speed. But uh, let's just, I want to do this to see if it is any different than doing like the big and the, All right, did I just take damage from the, the thing? I might have. All right, so that is actually no different than doing the two big gears. All right, that is also good to know. So question is. Uh, is it the rotation? Is it adding gearboxes? Is that slowing it down? So this is coming off of this one. We got 86, 22. Depends if we do this. Also, right, 86, 22. That is the same. Can we switch this to, like, speed? I did hear you could do that. Also... What was that? Can I stand on it? <laughs> I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if... I thought we could maybe do... Man, these, uh, these hoppers. Holy cow. Can we... Um... Displays the current stress. Yep. Whoa, what are those? What are those big things? Oh, look at that. You can put the thing. I thought maybe we could see... Is there a kinetic? I'm sure everyone's like, oh my god, you're so bad at this. Why? <laughs> oh, there it is. Crushy wheel. That was, is that a crushy wheel? No, I don't think that was a crushy wheel. But, uh... Yeah, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can do something with the stress meter. Um, so I guess we would want to maybe really need to test the speed. Like, is that going slower? I know this is going faster, but this is, this is going slower, isn't it then? Yeah, maybe. Is that going the same? <laughs> Alright, I need to figure out... Uh, I need to figure out how to see the speed, for sure. Okay, again, I was overthinking it. <laughs> Speedometer. Not a stressometer. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Let's do this, just so I can kind of get an idea of what we're doing here. So, 
That is 9 RPM. What is this one? That is 9 RPM. So it looks like this speeds it up. But going from a small to a big one has slowed it down. Um, let's throw it on here. 18. Yeah, okay, so it doubled it from there. Now, what happens if it goes through another gear? 18. Alright. Wait, does this need 72? Is that what it said? No. I don't know. <laughs> Is there any way to see that, by the way? Um... No, it doesn't say what... I don't know how much this needs. Um, but it does look like this doesn't lower the speed, which I guess is good. Alright, so what happens if we do this? That is not what I wanted that to do. Now it's doing... <laughs> placing it like that. Uh, I wanted it like... Like that. And maybe like that. Where did I put that thing? Did it end up in here again? Man, this hopper. Alright, so that was 18. That was 18. That was 18. Alright, so that didn't do anything. <laughs> I thought, well, I guess, why would it? They're the same size. Why would it speed up? Uh, I want to... Hold on. There was... I swear I saw it, it's like... Okay, speed it up. Wait, they're going in the opposite directions. Is that what I was doing? Were they... I didn't even notice if they were, were rotating in the opposite direction. Does this have a different one? Yeah, large and small weeds can be connected diagonally. Shifting from large to small, the convey speed will be doubled. I guess I can't... Yeah. Wait, is it something like... I really need to get this... No. Oh god, we're rotating on our axis again, aren't we? <laughs> Create rotate mechanics. Too confusing. Alright, so they are actually... They are spinning in different directions. What happens if I put, like, a big cogwheel on that? I know that looks a bit silly, but... And then did like that. There we go. That looks like it's sped up, right? Alright, that is sped up. Alright. So, yeah. Alright, so that gives me a bit better understanding. I just keep no I don't think I think if I want to keep speeding it up also I mean I can just add of 50 million sales on there if I want to. oh that's going fast look how fast that's going that's no that's 36 that looks like it's going way faster though I mean that's going pretty fast right <laughs> 72. Alright, well, I'm kind of learning, but that is, that is a lot of, that's a lot of cogwheels to get that going that fast. Um, alright, this is kind of in my way, to be honest. Alright, let me do a little bit more kind of figuring out here. And, uh, we'll be right back. All right, I decided to move this, so 
There we go. Um, also, I condensed this down. I threw a big cogwheel onto the main thing. And uh, yeah, so I've gotten it up to, I think, 72, right? That was 72. Um, also, did find that 256 is the max, so that is also good to know. Uh, but I figure we'll have... Yeah, there we go. Also, the faster, faster this thing is moving, the faster it crafts. So I thought we will... Uh, that's a good thing. That is not where I wanted that. So basin... Dude, I kind of wish. Yeah, well. Oh god, and I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't get out. Uh, unless I do that. <laughs> uh, we need chest. Okay, that cobble is gonna bug me. I know it will. I can see it down there. Okay, I think we're good. And then I just throw this stuff in. Now, two of that and one of that. And there it goes. It is mixing away. We even got an achievement. There we go. There is our Invar blend. Now, we'll obviously have to look at how we can automate this. Because me standing here doing this not so great, but uh, just visually, it doesn't really. <laughs> I don't see like. Just visually, I'm like, uh, I don't know how you would get the items in. I mean, you're not gonna have a belt running across this dropping them in, so I'm actually gonna have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, there is our Invar, so that is our first thing. Also, I did sort of look up the mechanical crafters so that is something we'll have to get doing but uh still a bit of a learning curve kind of learning how cogwheels work and speeds and stuff i do wish i could see um like requirement like this required 36 i think rpm so i kind of wish i wish i could see that somewhere i don't is i don't remember um if there was like a book or something that uh, I can't remember if there was a, a way to see stuff like that, other than me just like going on the wiki. But uh, all right, so there we go. There is our second kind of create thing. But uh, yeah, uh, next episode we will move on and maybe get into the mechanical crafting or even uh, maybe some scuba gear because we really <laughs> isn't that like a little thing we could zoom around in okay that is cool um yeah because we may need to go find a blaze in the nether to get our blaze burner working which we're gonna need to uh use that for some recipes in the mix missing this one doesn't require it but uh it might be I think brass was one. It'd say if I want the, yeah, you can do one and one gets two or two and one gets two. But uh, as we can see, the heated is better. But anyway, we'll have to get into that more next episode. Thanks for watching and have a good one.